Now this is a patient who has ovulated. You can see the endometrium is perfectly normal and there is plenty of fluid in the pelvis. The right ovary, you can see this is the right ovary and with the right ovary you can see normal fimbria and there's fluid here. This is on the right side. So you can see very clearly the fimbria and the mobility of the fimbria. But when you go to the left side, this tube looks like a hydrosalpinx and it is a thickened tube. So here is the closed end of the tube and this is the thickened tube and that is the ovary. So you can see on the left side, she has got an ovary that has ovulated and a, hyd a large hydrosalpinx with a blocked tube. This is a clubbed fimbria. So it's very obvious just looking at because of the presence of fluid in the pelvis. You can actually see that the left tube is closed, the right tube on the other hand is open with normal appearing fimbria. This is a diagrammatic representation of the free floating fimbria which you can see. The presence of the fluid following ovulation in the pelvic cavity has actually delineated the tube on the right side. This is, uh, these are follicles that ovulated, so the fluid is sort of actually delineating the fimbria very clearly as depicted here. And if you can see on the left side, this is the tube which looks like a hydrosalping, so the blunt fimbria, and that is the ovary that ovulated and that is the fluid. So presence of fluid is a good base on which you can delineate the tubal uh, pathology post-ovulatory.